quote that I have hanging above my desk at home, it's a Nora Ephron quote, and it's, above all, be the heroine of your life, not the victim. I'm Shannon O'Neill. I am a performer, actor, comedian, artistic director of the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in New York City. I'm a cast member of a television show called The Chris Gethard Show, and I'm a CrossFitter. The Upright Citizens Brigade is a theater and a training center uh, where we teach sketch and improv comedy, and then on our stages we have sketch and improv comedy. The Upright Citizens Brigade are Amy Poehler, Matt Besser, Matt Walsh, and Ian Roberts. They created the theater for people to have something that they wish they had. And it's a place where a lot of famous people that you may have heard of have come through. So SNL writers and performers like Kate McKinnon from The Upright Citizen Brigade, Bobby Moynihan, you have Ellie Kemper of the you know, Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt, uh, if you watch Silicon Valley, Zach Woods, tall skinny guy. Improv comedy, it's a lot of things, but the, specifically what I do is essentially it's a group of performers. I step out with a team of two to seven other people. We get something, a suggestion as simple as a word. You just need someone to <coughs> shout out a suggestion of a single word. Trombone. 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 There you go. And then that is our inspiration, and then everything after that, the show is completely made up. It's all completely made up. We haven't done it before. We'll never do it again. As soon as you fall asleep, I'm pushing you the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's not going to be fun until you fall asleep. <laughs> I'm not here to make your job fun. <laughs> it's a place where failure is embraced. We give people the opportunity to get up on stage and try things out. And if it fails, they learn from it. It's not like, oh, you suck. You can't come here anymore. It's like, oh, what did you learn from that? come back and try it again and get better. There you go, now you're in the next scene. My horse is dead. Bell in Long Island City, uh, Queens, New York, and we are doing 18.4. I mean, I only, I barely know it because I can only do like the first part of it. 21, uh, uh, 15, 9 of deadlifts and handstand push ups. So I can do 21 deadlifts, and that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna attempt handstand. A handstand first, and then a handstand push up. Anytime you do something in front of people, whether you know here it's working out or whether I'm on stage, I am giving my, I'm at least should be giving my best. So if I fail, it's just a, it's a good measure publicly to know like, okay, I know I did my best because I don't want to fail. I'd rather not fail, but if I do fail, that's okay, and I will move on and I will try not to fail next time. do things that you know you can do. You're never going to uh, become a better athlete. Just like in life, if you only in life just like do things that feel safe, then you're just going to you're just going to live a, a straight line of a life, but I think you have to challenge yourself, get outside your comfort zone for the rest of your life. And now I, you know, I failed for 7 minutes today. Uh, but I learned a lot more, so that's the bonus there. Yeah. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> We got Megan from North Carolina. Welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing? We're yeah, good. You're doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. That's very motivating. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Do you have anything you want us to do? Any words to keep us going? I feel like Adam's already fading. Hey, hey, um, hey. I, would, I would like for y'all to do burpees. Okay, Megan, how many burpees do we have to do? Um, 20 and a minute and a half. No! It's impossible. No way, dude. No, 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 no. no way. Shannon, no way. Megan, you're an insane person. I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. What is a burpee? What is a burpee? The burpee is... Let's do three. Let's do three burpees. Drop down. Okay. And get up. 
Oh, uh, Megan, hey, F you! <laughs> Honestly, Megan, I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna take a shit in your front yard. <laughs> Right. Megan, we know you're somewhere in North Carolina. It's not a huge state. Shannon will shit in every front yard in North Carolina if she asks you. I'll shit until I find you. That's three. We're only allowed to say that five times, so that's, we use three. Uh, production found exercise equipment on Craigslist. And then the theme was you call in and the viewers told us what to do. And it could be with the equipment we have or they could tell us something else and we basically had to do it. The Chris Gethard Show is a hybrid talk show, essentially, where we have a different theme for every show and we have a celebrity guest for the full hour. Uh, but yeah, it's very interactive. We interact with our fans, they Skype in and we talk to them on air, they call in. Trying and not succeeding is what we're all about here on this show. We all have each other's backs. It's really very special. It's like, it's insane how special it is. I am my funniest. I'm my sharpest when I am my healthiest. Being in control of my body helps me be in control of my mind, which helps me improvise and make stuff up off the top of my head. I ask myself, like, am I just like settling and just using my bag of tricks when I perform? Or what, am I, what are the bad habits I'm falling into and how can I push myself uh, outside of my comfort zone? That's when I grow as a performer. And that in CrossFit, when it's like, I look to see what the watt is and I'm just like, oh, it's thrusters. Okay, I gotta show up. If I just constantly do the same stuff and I don't challenge myself, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be boring. You gotta say yes to stuff that you've never done. There's not a day at UCB that is the same. CrossFit, there's never, a day that's the same. You know, the workouts are all varied. I don't know what part of my body is gonna be sore. And on Gethard's show, even though we know what the show is about tonight, we don't know what's gonna happen. And I personally thrive on that. I don't, I don't worry as much. I don't worry as much. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, and that's fine. Whatever happens, I am prepared to deal with it, whether it's through my CrossFit training or my Improv training. I can handle it. And second. Do it. Five seconds.